This concludes the parable in Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Now, when we've gone through this parable and unpacked it, we know exactly what that means. It's crystal clear. And what we're guilty of so many times is just cherry picking a scripture out of context. And when you take this scripture and you take it out of its context of the parable, you can put on it whatever meaning you want to put on it. But we have to understand this scripture as part of the parable because it's the context of the parable that gives us its meaning. And that, that's us. why that's why so many people, including myself in the past, have been confused by that. Well, am I, am I called? Am I chosen? You know, what's that mean? Yeah. And we need to know, and that's why we're uh, we're taking time to sit with the doctrine of Christ, to give it the time it deserves. Like every parable has so much precious truth that um, it deserves our time and attention to draw the life out of the word, because uh, that's where our life and our strength is. Now, this scripture appears again, uh, and let's read it in another location in Matthew uh, chapter 20 and verse 16. And here it's attached to another saying that Christ repeated often, the, the last shall be first and the first last, which also referenced Israel. Mm -hmm. But let's read Matthew 20, 16. The scripture says here, so the last shall be first and the first last for many be called, but few chosen. Now, I want to read a comment by Thomas Manton, who was another one of the 17th century Puritans. And I want to read what Brother Manton said about this. And on page 47 of volume 22, Brother Manton said this, Matthew 20, 16, so the last shall be first and the first last, for many are called, but few are chosen. Therefore, we should not be contented with the beginnings of Christianity only. Many times there are plenty of blossoms and yet but little fruit. And those that have had good beginnings may afterwards greatly dishonor the name of Christ by their scandal or defections from him. They may seem to be first in the kingdom of heaven and to be the very flower of Christianity, but prove afterwards the very dregs of Christianity. Mm. So true. And this is the need for us to pay heed to what was said by Christ. The bride hath made herself ready. If you're a believer tonight, you have been called. And if you have responded properly, you have been chosen. And now the preparation begins.